Hello everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about how to place our PoEIP cameras far away from our PoE and VR. So the PoE technology is a method of transmitting both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. And a PoE and VR is basically a network video recorder which helps us encode our digital signals and then has PoE features, which means it can act as a power sourcing equipment, which can provide the PoE signals to power the data to any IP devices connected to it. So this would mean it would be very simple for us to connect just an IP camera to this PoE and VR, and then all the power and data is solved at once. Although there is limitations as well. The PoE can only transmit 100 meters regularly, but if we want to go further, we can use extenders. We're going to imagine we're going to have to find a way for an IP camera to reach the limit for PoE and VR connections, which is 500 meters. So if we want to connect this IP camera 500 meters away from this PoE and VR, we're going to need some devices. This video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use a, P a one input to output PoE extender to connect this IP camera. So this one input to output PoE extender, you can see it is metal housing, which means it's okay for direct burial and also waterproof. It's rated IP67. And also there is an input port with an indicator. So whenever the PoE signal comes in here, you will know. And then on the other side, there are two output ports, which means there are two options for us to connect. So we connect two devices to it, and both of them have a 30 watts maximum output, and also indicators to let us see if these are working. So another benefit of this is because the indicators are just like on the top surface of this device, it's very easy for us to check the status of this device. And we can use multiple PoE extenders to create a daisy chain and reach up to 500 meters. So let's say the PoE and VR connects to this PoE extender that's 500 meters, uh, that's 100 meters, and then the, this first extender goes to the second extender, that's 200 meters. And as we push on, push on, we will finally reach 500 meters, which is also the limitations for an extension with these, and that is how we use a PoE extender. And for PoE devices, most of them are plug and play devices, so it's really easy for us just to connect. All we need to make sure is that we connect the Ethernet cable in the correct spot. So now I have this PoE IP camera here and this PoE NVR connected to this monitor right here. All we need to do is connect this PoE extender and let it be in the middle of this connection. So usually we can just use a long Ethernet cable and connect the IP camera with the NVR, but we're going to learn how to add an extender. And if you learn how to add one, it's basically the same how you add the second, the third, and the fourth. So first of all, let's take a look. The PoE extender, find the input port is here, and we're going to need an Ethernet cable to help us receive the PoE signal and transmit it to the input port. So a short patch cord right here, and then one end to the PoE and VR, the second end goes to the PoE extender. And once it's connected, you can see that the indicator is lit on. This means the PoE extender is currently receiving the PoE signal. And then we will use this Ethernet cable connected to either one is okay. So either PoE extender output ports and then the other end of the Ethernet cable to our PTZ camera. And now we should just wait for it. This is the self-diagnosis of the panel to zoom camera. After the self-diagnosis, all the programs will be running and we, can, we should get the image on our monitor shortly. Now we can see there is an image on our monitor. Let's wave my hand in front of the camera and you can see it is a live video footage. So this footage is live and we can say this connection is successful. And yes, this is how you add an extender to the system. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about adding extenders to the networking system, you can leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.